Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Dr. Phillips, good morning. Thank you for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Wonderful. Thanks for having me. You're going to give us some information about prescriptions and how to save money. That's right. You know, one of the first steps in saving money during cold and flu season is really about going to the doctor. Now, I'm an internist, and my patients let me know what a hassle it is to come in for the common cold. But I tell them, if your symptoms aren't clearing up as quickly as you'd expect them to, a doctor's visit is really well worth it. We know complications of colds, like bronchitis, can be dangerous, and they can also land you in the hospital with thousands of dollars in hospital bills. So it's best to get checked out early. Okay, so what are some of the steps that we need to find to save uh, money on prescription during a cold and flu season? Well, for one thing, for over-the-counter medicines, it's important to check the ingredients of multi-symptom medicines to make sure you're not doubling up on the same ones. So, for example, if you've already taken acetaminophen for your fever, you should be really careful not to take a multi-symptom medicine that also contains acetaminophen. And a great rule of thumb is to choose generic drugs whenever possible. They almost always have the exact same active ingredients as brand names, but they cost much, much less. Now, you said almost. Is, what does that almost mean? Now, I'm very aware of words. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, same and, ingredient. And, yeah, that's a good point. There are just a couple of medicines, mostly hospital-based medicines and, and things you wouldn't pick up at a pharmacy, where the active ingredients in the generic and the brand name are slightly different. But those are things that your doctors would know about um, and would take precautions to make sure. I have a Facebook post, and they would like to know, uh, is it true when you have hypertension, um, over-the-counter medications or other medications affect your hypertension? That's right. Absolutely. And, you know, since we're talking about cold and flu, um, it's important if you do have hypertension, medicines that are decongestants in particular can really drive up your blood pressure, um, as well as some, some cough medicines. Uh, it's best if you, if you are on meds for high blood pressure, check with your doctor before you take anything over the counter. That's a really good question from, the, from, from our viewer. Okay. So... Home remedies, do you recommend any of those for cold and flu? Because some people don't like to take what? prescribed or even over-the-counter. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think that home remedies really are the basis of how we have to treat the common cold because, unfortunately, we don't have a magic cure yet. Uh, I just tell my patients to focus on hot liquids like tea with honey or water with lemon. That heat soothes inflammation in your nose and your sinuses. Uh, my personal favorite sore throat remedy is just a simple gargle of a half teaspoon of salt in eight ounces of warm water. It gives relief right away. And now we know that the benefits of chicken soup are backed up by science. There's a lot of great research out there that it works. So all of our grandmothers can go ahead and say, I told you so. <laughs> I want my audience to know that medical... Dr. Holly Phillips is a medical expert for Retail Me Not Rx, and she's here to help us save some money. And finally, Dr. Holly, let me ask you this. So if you don't have money, uh, uh, for, how do you save money if, if you don't maybe have insurance or... Sure. They're still high during, with insurance. That's right. You know, many of us don't think about it, but different pharmacies charge different prices for the exact same medications. So Retail Me Not, Rx Saver, is both a website and an app that lets you choose your pharmacy based on price transparency. You just go to rxsaver.com or the app, and you enter the medication you've been prescribed and your zip code. Then the website shows you the pharmacies in your area that sell your medication, and most importantly, it shows you their prices. 
Then you can just choose the pharmacy based on those lists, the list of low prices, and you get a coupon, which you show to your pharmacist right when you go to pick up your medicine. It's really simple, and patients can save up to $1,000 a year on prescriptions that way. It's particularly perfect for people who have no insurance coverage or one of those high deductible plans. Oh, that's great information. Someone mm -hmm. asked me about a coupon at the pharmacy just yesterday. Dr. Holly, how can they use your service? How can they use your app? It's Get them on, on the web. Sure. You just head over to rxsaver.com. That's the website. There's no charge to use it, and it's super simple to use. Thank you so very much for that information, as hopefully the debate rages on in Washington about the price of prescription drugs. I hope Indeed. we do something soon. I'm with you. Thank you, Dr. Holly. Take care.